Mabuza farm is just outside Emelo. It's only about three, four, five minutes drive from Emelo. It's overlooking Emelo, which you saw there on the background. And there's a lot of people now who are staying here. And this morning, from this house, the community woke up to startling news, very shocking news, where somebody had been killed and dumped just outside the gate of that house uh, in the early hours of this morning, about 4 a.m., according to statements. Speaking to people around, uh, the fight started around 8 o'clock last night, and it lasted uh, until 11 o'clock, according to the neighbors. And there was a huge fight, and uh, some young people were involved. The person who lives in this house is a son. He is a practicing Sangoma, and uh, the, the community came here and they threw everything outside the house. Uh, when Kanyisa arrived, the house was already on fire. Uh, the community was angry at this deed that happened uh, this early hours of this morning. Apparently, uh, a guy called Mbuzana was called in to this house to come and have some beers. Uh, this community is uh, really indulged in uh, drinking. You, they drink all night. Sometimes you see the youth carrying bottles early hours of the morning. So what happened here, they were drinking inside this burning shack. Uh, some people who we spoke to as Kanisa, they say uh, this guy was uh, locked up in the uh, Endumbe, you know the house, this small hut where he does his practice. Uh, this one, which you can see there, the fire is starting, uh, when we arrived, this fire was just starting in this uh, uh, practicing room, and uh, this one was already engulfed in flames. So the fight started about eight, no one is able to tell exactly what the fight was about. Uh, it went on until 11 and neighbors were hearing sounds like uh, uh, stepping by the, uh, with the knife, uh, cutting by with the, I mean, with the saw and uh, it was so shocking uh, they, but because there's always noise in this house because they are always drinking so no one expected that there would be something out of the usual that would come out of uh, this place uh, this night and then in the early hours of the morning when people started to go to work the uh, one guy that we spoke to who stays uh, next to this place next to the house or next to the shack was riding on his bicycle to work when he discovered the cops right outside the gate of this house uh, there was a, a dustbin, something like a dustbin next to it. It was not easy to identify it as it was still a bit dark. He went back and called out his tenants to come and see. And immediately the police were called and uh, they came in and rushed to the scene to understand what had happened. And the son and the father and others that were present here, they were taken into police custody for questioning and the police kept coming back to come and uh, get more witnesses uh, to this case to understand exactly where the fight started, what was going on and so forth. So we are still here to get to the police station so that we can understand also what caused this young uh, practice, uh, practicing a traditional healer to uh, do such a thing. The guy had a very big blow onto his forehead, which looked like it was a hammer, and his bones were broken, all joints were broken. Uh, it's like a, a golf stick was used to beat him up, and he had multiple step wounds, and uh, when he was discovered, he was already dead. So the story continues. We'll keep updating you. Thank you.